Hey everybody, my name is Rush with the In the last part we did some stuff. I can't remember. I can't remember that far back. It was literally yesterday. Ugh. Uh, in this part we're gonna go through the throat. First thing you notice when you enter the throat, is there a heartless here? Yeah, we're gonna kill the heartless. You know why? You know why? You can probably see why. There's a blue trailer on the floor. We're gonna get that. It's actually the last trinity in this place, well, except the white trinity. There's only one reason to come back to this place and then in the later in the, in the game, that's for the white trinity! So, on the floor in the middle, there is a blue trinity. Jump on it, and you get some money and a red item, which is usually a tent or something. Or a mineral shard. Same thing, basically. Just one's a tent and one's a mineral shard. Um, in the throat, there are these little thingies that you can jump on. Okay, they're not really little thingies, they're big thingy platforms. I don't know biology, I will call everything a thingy. You can jump up to the top and you will get taken to the stomach. Hey, let Pinocchio go, Riku. A puppet that's lost its heart to the heartless. Maybe it holds the key to helping Kairi. How about it, Sora? Let's join forces to save her. We can do it together. What? You'd rather fight me? Over a puppet that has no heart? Heart or no heart, at least he still has a conscience. Conscience? You might not hear it, but right now it's loud and clear. And it's telling me you're on the wrong side! Then you leave me no choice. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Jiminy. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Liar! Oh. Oh. I guess I'm okay. Huh? Okay, this is the second boss in Monster. It's exactly the same as the first boss. Uh, except he's got a few new abilities, so let's just stay on the edge while we explain these new abilities. Uh, firstly, he can lunge at you like you saw him do it very at the beginning. Um, he can also still wave his arms around. He hits for more. He's got double the health. He's He gives double the experience, yay. But he's generally a lot, lot harder. You still can't hit him from the back. Um, he can fire shadow bolts, he can wave his arms around, he can... He's just generally a lot more badass. So, I'm going to play this one very safe. The best strategy I've found to do it is to stay on his right side. He will keep turning, so you have to keep staying on his right side. And, uh, okay, not his right side, but your right side. And um, hopefully that in that way the only things you should get hit by are the arms, which you should be able to cure through. Okay. There's also acid around the room, which obviously will hurt you if you stand in it. Which I am there. Let's try staying on his left side this time. No, his right side. My left side. Duh. Okay, well, he's half dead already. That's good. We seem to be avoiding the arms if we stay here. That's a, this seems to be a good place. I like this place. And he's just collapsed. Okay, when he collapses, that's good because you get a few free hits in. I missed him every single time he was collapsed, but whatever. Yeah, I think I should be able to do this this time. As long as he doesn't massively do some ridiculous, unavoidable attack, which would be quite entertaining for you, I imagine. Alright, I think I'm about one hit away from killing him anyway. Whoopah! Okay, we've all leveled up as well. Sora's got HP up, Goofy's got MP gift, Don's got a new ability as well, and... Come on, we always get a fuck clean. There we go. It's not a tremendously good cutscene. Riku! Riku, where are you? Attained the power of time. I have the power of time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, you learned the magic spell stop. I just find it so entertaining. You've learned the power of time. 
What are you so sad about? So, Kyrie's like a lifeless puppet now? Precisely. And her heart was... Taken by the heartless, no doubt. Tell me, what can I do? There are seven maidens of the purest heart. We call them the princesses of heart. Gather them together, and a door will open to the heart of all worlds. Within lies untold wisdom. There you will surely find a way to recover Kyrie's heart. Now, I'll grant you a marvelous gift. The power to control the heartless. Dun dun dun. Soon, Kyrie. Soon. I just thought he needed to dun 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 in that moment because that you know that's kind of an evil moment. You know, you've gained the power to control the heartless, and he is Monstro. What, what do you want, Monstro? Can we have our friends back now? Oh, you're gonna sneeze. Okay. That's fine. You look so grumpy in that picture, like, nah, screw you. Fine, if you won't want to be inside me, I'll sneeze you out. I sure hope Pinocchio and Geppetto are okay. Yeah, hopefully they landed safely somewhere. Riku! Oh, stop your whining, Sora. Okay, you continue from Agrabah's orbit. Obviously, we're not going to go to Agrabah. Although, hmm, we've now got high jump, so we will be going to Agrabah. I think my magic's as good as Donald's now. No way, not in a million years. Why don't you go see Merlin work more on your magic? You know what, Goofy? That's a great idea. There's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. There's lots of... I hear the great reward for the winner. Ah, That's what I get for trying to recite it from memory. Let's see. Let's go out to Travis Town, because... Like he says, you might want to go see Merlin at this point. And we've also got the summon spell to get from the Fairy Godmother. We've also got the Hundred Acre Woods to do. And there's obviously a load of chests everywhere that can be got with a high jump. There's the Olympus Coliseum. There's generally a lot of side things we can do. Let's um, start by going to the first district though. Because we're going to go see Pinocchio. That's right. Well, Geppetto. And I think Pinocchio's there. I don't know. It's Geppetto's house. So, this way. You can already see it. It's over here. Pinocchio? Hey, it's Sora. Well, hello, Sora. You, they got this place built very fast, didn't they? How did you get here? A man named Leon helped us. He even got us this house to live in. I don't know how I'll ever repay his kindness. Say, I hear you three are high fighting hearts. I thought I might be able to help you, so I made this. And you obtained Geppetto. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh right, it's a it's a model for the gummy ship. I was like, okay, you're not coming with us. You are not coming with us. Look what I've cooked up this time. You stop giving us people. <laughs> we don't want people. Stop giving us people. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, over here there is a postcard. This is the last postcard of the game is also over here. A wishing star. This is another weapon for Sora. It is a short reach weapon, always finishes with a combo, with a powerful crit, uh, it's not got as much strength though, so if you do more combos then you might want it, but I, eh, I'd rather more chance of combo on each hit, and a longer reach obviously. Father's really interested in gummy blocks, ah, whatever. He keeps giving us people, I don't like him. Okay, I think I'm coming up to time, but I think I'll probably be able to squeeze in one more little trip to Merlin's house. Merlin! What do you have for us? You're making excellent progress. Here's something for your efforts. You get the Spellbinder. Keep it up. Mm. Never mind. Stop talking to me. Okay, you also get another weapon for Zora, which is the Spellbinder, which raises your MP, enhances your magic power, enhances your summoning power, but it's got terrible, terrible attack. So, you... Well, okay, I don't want it. Now we're going to go over here and talk to the Fairy Godmother, who will give us Dumbo! Another summon gem, let's help this little one. Here we go, bibbidi bobbidi boo Learn someone's spell Dumbo! If you find any more of these stones, bring them to me. 
she wants our stones. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave it here. So in the next part, first thing we're going to do is the 100 Acre Woods. That'll probably be the whole of the next video. The video after that will probably be exploring, trying to find high jump places. The video after that. And, okay, the two videos after that will probably be the Pegasus Cup at the Olympus Coliseum. And then anything else I think of to delay the inevitable of going to the next world, which I absolutely loathe. Oh god, the next world is horrible. I don't want to go there ever. So, yeah, the longer we can put that off, the better for me. Uh, I've got 17 minutes of footage I need to condense into 11, so I'm going to stop now before I keep going on long enough that it's going to just keep getting longer and longer. And it's never going to stop. I'm never going to stop talking now. I'm ranting. Ah, how do I stop talking? I know how to stop talking. See you next time.